In the, in the days leading up to this report, there's been a palpable sense of nervousness amongst the families, the bereaved families of the 96 people who died at the Hillsborough disaster about whether this really would be their day of vindication and whether the full truth, as they've always campaigned for, would come out. And I think the report uh, which we have, and it's a major and substantial report going into all the detail of 450,000 documents that the panel has uh, reviewed. Obviously, we haven't had time to read it yet, but as uh, David Cameron has just spoken, and the message that we've had in terms of the summary of, of the report is remarkably clear that it is, it is that day of complete vindication for the families that have fought for 23 years to, as they see it, establish the full truth of what happened at Hillsborough and afterwards and as they sadly see it and as David Cameron supported in his speech they felt the need to defend their own children and relatives who died in the disaster because of a campaign of denigration that went on that the disaster was caused by drunk Liverpool supporters or supporters without tickets or supporters misbehaving that has been comprehensively debunked in this uh, inquiry which has reviewed every statement uh, every public document held by all the agencies responsible and its findings are absolutely devastating uh, in the sense that the South Yorkshire Police, as was found in the Taylor Report only four months after the disaster, uh, were culpable for mismanaging the crowd uh, in a dreadful way on the day and yet instead of accepting that culpability they instituted a campaign which we're seeing for the first time in, in great detail how orchestrated it was, how organised it was, to blame the supporters for causing the disaster, to, to put out stories of drunkenness and ticketlessness, including to the media, and that that campaign was endorsed and encouraged personally by the Chief Constable, Peter Wright. We've also found that um, the South Yorkshire Ambulance Service, that the emergency response was so poor that uh, lives could have been saved, we haven't been told how many just yet, um, and that is the first time that the emergency response to the disaster and the ways in which it failed the victims has been examined and documented. Uh, there's also a finding that the ambulance service as well as the police had their statements of junior officers amended to exacerbate stories of misbehaviour by the supporters and evade findings of criticism of themselves. Uh, David Cameron's apology, public apology, official apology by the Prime Minister, I don't think could have been uh, really more uh, comprehensive, um, more incontrovertible. I think it left no room for doubt that he accepts, as he put it, that there's been a double injustice. What happened to the people on the day that caused them to die on a sunny day at one of our great football matches at a prestigious football match, the FA Cup semi-final between the great Liverpool team and Nottingham Forest. What happened to the fans on the day uh, was the first injustice, according to David Cameron, and the second injustice was the denigration of their name, as if they had caused the disaster, when in fact this report has found them to be blameless. It's a major day for the Hillsborough families and for all the people who've supported them. There's been huge solidarity from survivors uh, of that terrible day and of Liverpool supporters and the city of Liverpool itself. And this is a vindication for 23 years of what the vice chair of the Hillsborough Family Support Group, Margaret Aspinall, who lost her son James in the disaster, has said has been 23 years of hell. Their campaign, the solidarity that they've shown for their children, for their relatives, for their victims, has been fully vindicated by this report.